long, arduous uh, journey, but I just wanted to publicly acknowledge the work that Becky has done because behind the scenes she has absolutely been phenomenal in getting us to this place. So why don't we all give Becky a round of applause. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to hand over to Becky, and Becky's going to tell us a little bit of the journey that we've been on, and uh, she's going to talk about a few people. Gosh, this is very exciting. Um, thank you all so much for coming. It's just, oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's an amazing day. Um, yeah, and just a little bit about the journey. So it was actually 10 years ago that um, I first had the dream to open a cafe. But I always knew right from the start that I didn't just want it to be about serving great coffee. Um, I really wanted it to be a cafe that's all about um, building a thriving community and one that really feels like family, where people know each other um, and really feel valued and where lots of other exciting things can happen. Um, so yeah, and I kind of went about life a little bit and then moved to Churchill Gardens and absolutely loved living here. It is just an amazing um, square to be on. Hard at times and there are some challenges um, with this area, but just loved it and knew that having a cafe here would just really like um, be awesome for this neighbourhood because there is, um, yeah, who doesn't want a cafe and great coffee and community? <laughs> like. <laughs> Um, so, ooh, this way. Um, yeah, so it just started with literally two tables in the middle of the park over under a tree, um, serving some squash, doing loads of different activities. Um, and yeah, that was the first summer and it was really amazing and people loved it. Um, and we got a lot of support and yeah, the, um, this building became vacant and amazingly, yeah, we got to lease it, which is so exciting. We got planning permission, um, drew out the plans, raised a lot of money. People, um, mostly from around this square, did the Three Peaks Challenge, which is, yeah, a mega challenge. And they also raised about 10 grand. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who did that and thank you to everyone who so generously donated. Like this couldn't have happened without a lot of people. Um, so yeah, at the end of September, the renovations began. So it was about four months ago, which is <laughs> long enough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, again, I just want to say a huge thank you um, to everyone who helped with the renovations. It was, yeah, I mean, the, like thousands of hours have gone into this and particularly want to thank um, Johnny Cavacucci who's over there the furniture and the bench and the countertop like they're amazing and that is all down to him <laughs> and Andy Bai also um, he totted up that he did over 200 hours voluntary for this which is just astounding and so yeah thank you Andy there we are. Paul Coombs yeah, did that much, if not more, and yeah, every part of this, he's had, you know, he's done something to it, and it's looked awesome. Um, who else? Mark. Where's Mark? The electrician. An awesome electrician. Again, just, he's been in here early morning, late at night, and yeah, I mean, it looks great, and everything's working, so. <laughs> we can have great coffee because of his work. <laughs> Um, yeah, and there's loads and loads of people who have yeah have just poured into this, and we're so so grateful. Um, also, really thankful for Chris and Jane and their support. Um, yeah, right throughout the whole of this journey. So thank you. And would you like to say a few words? Hey, Jane, <laughs> I'll video. You can talk. <laughs> Yes. Actually, I've never known Chris to decline the opportunity to speak. It's refreshing, really. Anyway, if you insist. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for coming, and thank you for all the people that Becky's just mentioned. The support that you've given Becky and John has been fabulous. But we want to thank John and Becky and everyone for what they've done for this square. Yeah. Because the the building of the community around here was starting to happen. We, we um, as a council, we bought some properties and, and brought some families to live here. 
But the gelling of this community yeah. and the real bringing it together has been from the Coastline Vineyard people, especially John and Becky. Because um, without them, I don't think it would have happened. Um, the the uh, what we called the top spot hut used to be a little bit down, you know, down hill, and um, it's it's amazing. The transformation is fabulous. Uh, thank you so much to the Talbot Village Trust for their generosity and their belief that this can actually make a huge difference to the communities in Boscombe, yeah. who need this kind of place to where they can get together, children can play safely, and the mums can have a chat and and just relax really. Um, away from you know where they're living in a lovely green space. Uh, this park is so beautiful. The trees are lovely. The the um, children's play areas have been renovated and ad added to in the last few years. And there's been fabulous events here in the summer as well. All of these things get the community together, and and we're very 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 grateful. So all the best for the future, Becky. I know you're going to make a success of this, and I look forward to some cake. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be open again. I've really <laughs> missed not being open and yeah, just really excited to yeah, keep building community and working with lots of um yeah, other organizations and individuals who, you know, share that heart. Um it's gonna be a good next season. <laughs> um Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. They're beautiful. Um, shall we cut the cake? Cut the cake. Um, and the ribbon. And the ribbon. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. We've got the mayor and the mayoress to cut the ribbon. I tell you what. Would um, Maris, would you like to cut the cake oh, yes. and then the mayor can cut the ribbon? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good way around, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> right, now, the reason I'm up here is because this is the only place that's got some sun on it. <laughs> <coughs> um, and, uh, Are you cold? It's quite cold down there. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant and uh, I can't say how much I admire the work that's been done. It's just fabulous. Um, Jane and Chris uh, are, are brilliant too. I mean, they work so hard in this ward. Um, I'm, I'm the ward next door, and I wish we worked half as hard as they do, but we don't need to. This community needs good councillors like this to work on your behalf, and uh, I hope you appreciate them, because we all do. Um, I'm not going to waffle now. Uh, I'm just going to say that I'm very, very happy to declare this open. And uh, Maris will enjoy cutting the cake, <laughs> and I'll hop down and cut the ribbon. Well, Thank you. Well done, Mister. Do you want to come up? Round the other side. Yeah. Get the ribbon. Are we doing it together? Then? Oh, should we yeah, do it together? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to take some? Right, there we go. There we are. Right, here we go. Hey, let me do the second cut. Oh, okay. Kelly, give me a miss. Okay, a big chair, one. So, are we ready? Yeah. One, three, two, one. Yeah.